loving heavenly father thank you lord for this wonderful time that you have given us to read through your words oh father god let your words bring life into us revive us and strengthen us in the name of jesus we pray amen genesis chapter 31 laban sons saying jacob had taken away all that was our fathers and of that which was our fathers hath he gotten all this wealth and jacob beheld the countenance of laban and behold it was not toward him as before and the lord said unto jacob return unto the land of thy fathers and to thy kindred and i will be with thee and jacob sent and called rachel and leah to the field unto his flock and said unto them i see your father's countenance that it is not toward me as before but the god of my father hath been with me and i know that with all my power i have served your father and your father hath deceived me and changed my wages 10 times but god allowed him not to hurt me if he said thus the speckle shall be thy wages then all the cattle bore speckle and if he said thus the striped shall be thy hire then bore all the cattle striped thus god had taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me and it came to pass at the time that the cattle conceived that i lifted up my eyes and saw in a dream and behold the rams which leaped upon the cattle were striped speckled and spotted and the angel of god spoke unto me in a dream saying jacob and i said here am i and he said lift up now thine eyes and see all the rams which leap upon the cattle are striped speckled and spotted for i have seen all that laban doeth unto thee I am the God of Bethel where thou anointed the pillar and where thou wovest a vow unto me now arise get thee out from this land and return unto the land of thy kindred and Rachel and Leah answered and said unto him is there at any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house are we not counted of him as strangers for he hath sold us and hath quite devoured also our money for all the riches which god had taken from our father that is us and our children's now then whatsoever god had said unto thee do then jacob rose up and set his sons and his wives upon camels and he carried away all his cattle and all his goods which he had gotten the cattle of his getting which he had gotten in padan aram to go to isaac his father in the land of canaan and laban went to shear his sheep and rachel had stolen the images that were her fathers and jacob stole away unawares to laban the syrian in that he told him not that he fled so he fled with all that he had and he rose up and passed over the river and set his face toward the mount gilead and it was told laban on the third day that jacob was fled and he took his brethren with him and pursued after him seven days journey and they overtook him in the mount gilead and god came to laban the syrian in a dream by night and said unto him take heed that thou speak not to jacob either good or bad then laban overtook jacob now jacob had pitched his tent in the mount and laban with his brethren encamped in the mount of gilead and laban said to jacob what hast thou done that thou hast stolen away unawares to me and carried away my daughters as captives taken with this word Wherefore didst thou flee away secretly and steal away from me and didst not tell me that I might have sent thee away with mirth and with songs with timbrel and with harp and hast not permitted me to kiss my sons and my daughters thou hast now done foolishly in so doing it is in the power of my hand to do you harm but the god of your father spoke unto me last night saying take thou heed that thou speak not to jacob either good or bad and now thou though wouldest needs to be gone because thou greatly longs after thy father's house it wherefore hast thou stolen my guards and jacob answered and said to laban because i was afraid for i said perhaps thou wouldst take my force thy daughters from me with whomsoever thou findest thy guards let him not live before our brethren disen thou what is thine with me and take it to thee for jacob knew not that rachel had stolen them and laban went to jacob's tent and into leah's tent and into two maid servants tents but he found them not 
then went he out of Leah's tent and entered into Rachel's tent. Now Rachel had taken the images and put them in camel's saddle and sat upon them. And Laban searched all the tent but found them not. And she said to her father, Let it not displease my lord that I cannot rise up before thee, for the custom of women is upon me. And he searched but found not the images. And Jacob was angry and contended with Laban. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, What is my trespass? What is my sin that thou hast so hotly pursued after me? Whereas thou hast searched all my furniture, where what hast thou found of all the household furniture? Set it here before my brethren and thy brethren, that they may judge between us both. This twenty years have I been with thee, thy eaves and thy she-goats have not cast a young, and the rams of the flock have I not eaten. That which was torn of beast I brought not unto thee, I bore the laws of it, of my hand didst thou require it, whether stolen by day or stolen by night. Thus I was, in the day of the drought, consumed me, and the frost by night, and my sleep departed from mine eyes. Thus have I been twenty years in thy house, I served thee fourteen years for thy two daughters, and six years for thy cattle, and thou hast changed my wages ten times. Except the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac had been with me, surely thou hadst sent me away now empty. God hath seen mine affliction and the labor of my hands, and rebuked thee last night. And Laban answered and said unto Jacob, These daughters are my daughters, and these children are my children, and these cattle are my cattle, and all that thou seest is mine. And what can I do this day unto these my daughters, or unto thy children, whom they have borne? Now therefore come thou, let us make a covenant, I and thou, and let it be for a witness between me and thee. And Jacob took a stone, and set it up for a pillar. And Jacob said unto his brethren, Gather stones, and they took stones, and made an heap, and they did eat there upon the heap. And Laban called it Jegar Shaduta, but Jacob called it Galid. And Laban said, This heap is a witness between me and thee this day. Therefore was the name of it called Galid. And Misfah, for he said, The Lord watch between me and thee, when we are absent one from another. If thou shalt afflict my daughters, or if thou shalt take other wives bef beside my daughters, no man is with us. See, God is witness between me and thee. And Laban said to Jacob, Behold this heap, and behold this pillar, which I have cast between me and thee. This heap be witness, and this pillar be witness, that I will not pass over this heap to thee, and that thou shalt not pass over this heap and this pillar unto me for harm. The God of Abraham and the God of Nahor, the God of their father, just between us. And Jacob swore by the fear of his father Isaac. Then Jacob offered sacrifice upon the mount and called his brethren to eat bread. And they did eat bread and tarried all night in the mount. And early in the morning Laban rose up and kissed his sons and his daughters and blessed them. And Laban departed and returned unto his place. Amen. Matthew chapter 18 At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. But whosoever shall offend one of these little ones who believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hung about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. O unto the world because of offences! For it must needs be that offences come, but woe to that man by whom the offence cometh. Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offer thee, cut it off, and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into the life lame or maimed, rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. And if thine eye offer thee, pluck it out, and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. 
Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones, for I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father who is in heaven. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. How think a, if a man have an hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine, and goeth into the mountains, and seeketh that which is gone astray? And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more over that ship than over the ninety and nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father, who is in heaven, that one of these little ones should perish. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. And if he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a tax collector. Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything, that they shall ask, it shall be done for them by my Father who is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him till seven times? Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, who would take account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, who owed him ten thousand talents. But for as much as he had nothing with which to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife, and children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him, and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out, and found one of his fellow servants, who owed him an hundred denarii, and he laid hands on him, and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me what thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet, and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison, till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry, and came and told unto their lord all that was done. Then his lord, after he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgive thee all that debt, because thou besoughtest me. Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his lord was angry, and delivered him to the inquisitors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother his trespasses. Amen. Proverbs chapter 19 Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Also, that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good. And he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. The foolishness of man perverteth his way, and his heart fretteth against the Lord. Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbour. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Many will entreat the favour of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him, how much more do his friends go far from him, he pursueth them with words, yet they are like lacking to him. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul, he that keepeth understanding shall find good. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Delight is not fitting for a fool, much less for a servant to have rule over princes. The discretion of a man differeth his anger, and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. 
The king's wrath is like roaring of a lion, but his favor is like dew upon the grass. A foolish son is the calamity of his father, and the contentions of a wife are a continual dropping. House and riches are the inheritance of fathers, and a prudent wife is from the Lord. Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. He that keepeth the commandment keepeth his own soul, but he that despiseth his ways shall die. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will be pay him again. Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment, for if thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. Your counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy later end. There are many devices in a man's heart, nevertheless the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. The desire of a man is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he who hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. A slothful man hideth his hand in his dish, and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Smite a scoffer, and the simple will beware, and reprove one that hath understanding, and he will understand knowledge. He that wasteth his father, and chasteth away his mother, is a son that causeth shame, and bringeth reproach. Cease, my son, to hear the instruction that causeth thee to err from the words of knowledge. An ungodly witness scoffeth at justice, and the mouth of the wicked devoreth iniquity. Judgments are prepared for scoffers, and stripes for the back of fools. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time that you have given us, O oh Father God. Lord, you are a God of wisdom. In the same manner, fill our soul with also your knowledge, O oh Father God. Our soul should not be without knowledge, but instruct us and give us your wisdom so that we can walk wisely each and every day of our life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you.